Kabbalah Session 2. In this session, we will look at the Four Worlds model of Kabbalah. According to this model, the emanations of nothingness, we covered in Session 1, comprise three layers of decreasing luminescence away from the th lower three worlds. The uppermost world, Atsaluth, is comprised of these three layers, Ayan Sof R, Ayan Sof, and Ayin. The model we see here for the four worlds depicts their order prior to the fall of spirit into matter, i.e. the creation of our universe by the Gnostic Demiurge. Here, immediately below and within Atsaluth, the world of emanation, is Yetzirah, the world of formation, which contains the cubical model of the Tree of Life discussed initially. Beneath and contained inside the world of Yetzirah formation is the world of Bariah, representing the creation of our universe, which in turn has represented itself as the innermost sphere, labeled by the seven days, representing the world of Asai, the realm of action. According to the cosmology of Kabbalistical myths, our universe was created when the world of Yetzirah and the world of Bariah exchanged places. The tree of life passed downward through the realm of Bariah, causing our creation to take place. At the same time, the realm of Bariah was removed upward away from our own place in the realm of matter and world of Asaya for action. It is described in the Bereshit Beth of the Zohar that the world of Bariah contained the paradise of Eden and that the tree of life of Yetzira, the formation, was placed into its center. This scroll will depict the four worlds inside Bariah, described in the Zohar, and just as we find that the tree of life descended into the lowest realms of Bariah, of Eden, so too we can see in each of the four inner worlds of Bariah, five Sephirot emanations, and another one on the border between each. Following Kabbalah as a path of recapitulation or recommunion of the present body with the mind of the past, we will begin in the lowest of the inner worlds of Bariah and work upward, approaching the highest Sephiroth on the outermost layer of Bariah, penetrating into the world of Yetzirah above and called thus the Holy of Holies. The description of the four inner realms of Bariah, or of Paradise, comes from the Zohar, and the numbers below each Sephirot indicate the verse within the Bereshit Beth volume of Zohar. The Bereshit Beth volume of the Zohar describes the ascent of the dead from the moment the soul leaves its earthly vessel of flesh. Thus, in the lowest of the four worlds of Bariah, the souls of the righteous are grouped according to their worthy deeds. Their deeds are then measured on a column called Zer and Pin, meaning literally, the short face. In the next higher inner realm of the world of Bariah, or Paradise, we find the emanations representing angels each of which acts as a guide to the group of souls gathered into the places of the same emanations in the inner world below. This level of the inner spheres of Bariah is the same as the lower earth discussed in Genesis, wherein it is written, he made the upper waters apart from the lower waters. The upper waters of Bariah are ruled over by six archangels, Michael, 
Adriel, Adrahel, Adahinel, Ahinel, and the angel of all converts. He who now guards the way into Eden, locking it to the children of Adam with an eternally spinning fiery sword. In the fourth world of Bariah, that is the sphere of Bariah encompassing the upper and lower worlds of creation, and the realm of paradise on earth, the Garden of Eden, we find the Sephiroth represented as five rays of refracted light from the Holy of Holies on the outermost border above, connecting to Yetzirah through the Moonstone or Sapphire on the border between the realm of Pariah and the upper waters. It is said the throne of God is like Sapphire, that the tablet of the law was engraved on a Sapphire stone, and that it was a Sapphire stone that was given to Adam by Raziel following the exile. The outer two columns of Sephiroth permeating the Zohar's four inner worlds model for Bariah are named Abba, meaning father, for the column on the left, and Ima, meaning mother, for the column on the right. It is thus through the middle pillar, the Yetzirah, as light shining from the Holy of Holies through the sapphire moonstone that separated the upper waters from the lower waters, was brought down to earth and placed within the Garden of Eden in the form of the Tree of Life of Kabbalah. The Gra, or earliest known version of the Tree of Life diagram, represents the ten Sephiroth as corners and the twenty-two paths as edges on a cube above over a cube below, representing one cube over time, or a 4D hypercube. However, this is only one form of hyperspatial object. Just as there are five regular platonic solids in three dimensions, so too do each of them correspond to a similar shape in four space, one dimension above. The hyperspace cube is the tree of life, and likewise the hyperspace tetrahedron is the tree of knowledge, which later became the tree of death following the expulsion from paradise. When the Gra tree of life diagram is recombined with the tree of death diagram, the result is the recapitulation in a single model of the systems described by both. Thus, what we see here is nothing less than the hyperspatial geometry of the Kabbalistic tree of Yetzirah, bearing upon it the hypertetrahedronal seed fruit of life itself. Although this form may be immortal, our own DNA is not. Just so, the first self-sustaining form of life on planet Earth was the virus, whose DNA is packaged inside a hexagonal isosahedron at its head, and after which our own central nervous system's arrangement is modeled.